In this video, we're taking a look at the new Question Banks feature available for faculty to use with assessments. With Question Banks, teachers can save and organize their assessment questions to use again in the future. For example, you may create several quizzes for a class over the course of a term and bank the quiz questions as you go. When it's time to create a final exam, you can add those banked questions to your exam assessment, eliminating the need to recreate the questions from scratch. To access question banks, select My Day, then Question Banks. Here, you'll create and manage your question banks and subbanks. You can organize questions by course or subject matter, and the level of detail you use to categorize questions is up to you. Let's look at an example. Here we have an early American civilizations bank that includes individual subbanks for Aztec, Maya, and Inca civilizations. It also includes an ungrouped subbank, which all banks have by default. Within a bank, you can add and manage the included subbanks and the questions those subbanks contain. This includes adding questions directly to a subbank, as well as editing, copying, or deleting questions. Now let's move on over to the Assignment Center to take a look at using question banks with an assessment. I've created this quiz on the Aztec Empire, and now I need to add questions. I know I have some banked questions that I want to include on this assessment, so I'll select Add, then From Question Banks. I choose the appropriate bank on the left, Early American Civilizations in this case, and the bank, included subbanks, and included questions display on the right. I can select specific questions, an entire subbank, or the entire bank to add to my assessment. I only want to include questions about the Aztecs, so I'm marking that subbank. Saving my selection adds the questions to my assessment. In addition to pulling in questions from my bank, I've added a new true-false question right here in the assessment. I know I want to use it again on future assessments, so I need to bank it. To do so, I'll select Manage Questions, then Question Banks. Note that all of the questions from my assessment are listed here, even the questions that are already in a bank. This is useful if I needed to add them to another bank or subbank. I only want to bank that new true-false question I just created here in the assessment. So first, I select the bank, then choose the subbank, and save. Now that new question is banked and ready to go the next time I want to add it to an assessment. That wraps up our overview of the new Question Banks feature. We hope you find it helpful when building your future assessments. Thanks for watching and be sure to subscribe to get the latest in our video content.